नमस्कार माय टुडेज डिस्कशन इज अबाउट ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव प्लैनेट्स और बाधक प्लैनेट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज क्लिक ऑन दिस लाइक आइकॉन एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट अपडेट and thanks to them who have already subscribed my channel now coming to the point in indian astrology there is a theory of obstructive planets or badhak planets the word obstructive means obstruction or whatever causes obstruction but obstructive planets do not generally mean obstructive planets there is some disagreement over the definition of constraint which will be discussed later however in general if any of movable signs like aries cancer libra and capricorn is the ascendant the 11 plates is obstructive place the ruling planet of that place and the planet located at that place is called the obstructive planet or badhak planets similarly in the case of fixed ascendant that is taurus leo scorpio and aquarius the ninth house is called obstructive place the lord of that place and the planet located at that at that place is called badhaka or obstructive planet and if the duality or dual sign that is gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces is ascendant the seventh house is the place of obstruction the lord of that seventh house and the planet in the seventh house is called obstructive planets now the question is what kind of obstacle is the obstructive planet or is it really an obstacle now i will discuss what kind of astro ancient astrological text have been written about the obstructing planets then i will discuss whether the barrier planet or obstructive planet is really a barrier and what kind of barrier this barrier planet creates in human life the hora shastra written by maharshi parashar which is universally acknowledged as the foundation of indian applied astrology has no general mention of the badhaka or obstructive planet in the that huge parashari hora shastra maharshi parashar has said in chordasha result chapter that the four fixed signs are the barriers of the four movable signs that is to say the 11th house of movable sign has to be judged as the place of obstruction during the judging of chordasha in this context there is no statement in parashari hora about the barrier of other signs that is fixed and dual nature signs the obstacle that he spoke of and which i have said before you that obstacle only applies to chordas result it is reasonable to conclude that the general application of this rule is not maharshi intended elsewhere maharshi parashar speaks of barriers or barrier planets applicable in special cases regarding argala yoga maharshi writes that the planet which has made argola yoga being in the fourth house 
द प्लानट इन द टेंथ हाउस इज द बैरियर ऑफ द प्लानट इन फोर्थ हाउस हु हैज मेड ऑर्गोला योगा ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव प्लानट ऑफ द प्लानट इन फिफ्थ हाउस इज द प्लानट इन द नाइन्थ हाउस ऑपोजिट इन द केस ऑफ केतु ट्वेल्थ हाउस प्लेस्ड planet obstructs second house placed planet and the third house placed planet which is the obstacle of the 11th house placed planet there are similar advices in gemini formulas but in this case also the barrier space or barrier planet is ap applicable in a special case that is in the case of orgola yoga not for general application if it had mohorshi parashar would have written like that in parashari parashar the mohorshi parashar has always favored details <coughs> the first mention of the obstructive or badhaka planet in general is probably in the well known jatak parijat text the famous verse about the obstructive planet in this book is kramachya rago di sharira bhana mupanta dharma smara gasta di sa kharesho mandishtito rashi nata hatibo badha karo khechara su the english translation of the verse by pandit subhamanna shastri means if ascendant is in the movable fixed and dual zodiac signs planets located in the 11th 9th and 7th zodiac signs and the ru ruling planet of that house will be obstructive planet if they are simultaneously the lord of mandi that is gulik there are doubts whether this translation of pandit subramanya shasti is correct because this verse can be interpreted as the planets located in the 11th 9th and 7th sign from the movable fixed and dual sign respectively the ruling planets of the that sign and planets in kharesh and mandi will be very obstructive another ancient famous astrological book sarvartha chintamani has the same verse in the second line the word atibo has been used instead of the word hatibo it does not change the meaning sarvartha chintamani is probably more older book than jatak parijat the translation of that verse of the book sarvartha chintamani also supports the second type of meaning mentioned earlier there is a statement before the verse in the book sarvartha chintamani grohanam sthano vasena parasparo badhakatta maha that means of obstructiveness of the planets is according to their placement accordingly it is not unreasonable to infer from this title test statement and the next verse that it is possible to determine the obstructive planet or obstructive place of every sign or house according to that method not only from ascendant after reading the previous statement and the verse it can be said from any zodiac sign according to movable fixed and dual sign the planets in 11th 9th and 10th house respectively and the house lords of that sign are the obstructive planets of the first planet and the lord of kharesh mandi is very obstructive this meaning has been given in the hindi translation by pandit kasiram pathak of the book sarvatta chintamani in jatak parijat the period of the planet in kendra or quadrant from obstructive house is also said 
to be sad or tragic. <coughs> Badhaka planet is mentioned in the famous book on query based prediction, Prasna Mark. According to the scriptures from the Arura ascendant, according to the movable fixed or dual sign, the 11th, 9th and 7th place respectively are the barrier places of Arura ascendant. The difference between Prasna Mark and Jatak Parijat or Sarvata Chintamani in this regard is that in Prasna Mark the judgment from Arura ascendant and not from Bath ascendant and planets in Khares and Mandi are not said to be obstructive or Badhaka. The definition of obstructive planet is of course border in Prasna Mark. The writer of Prasna Mark has identified the quadrant or Kendra also as Badhaka place or obstructive place from the Badhaka place. Jatak Parijak texts have similar reference in the context of result of planetary periods judgment. Not only that, according to the writer of Prasna Mark, the obstructive place for all movable signs are Scorpio Cap Capricorn, for Taurus Cancer, for Aquarius and Sagittarius is the obstructive house for Geminian pieces. Many people are in favor of applying the definition of obstructive planets in the book of Prasna Mark even in the case of bath chart or natal chart. But if you follow the theory of obstructive planets mentioned in the Prasna Mark, you will often not find any planet which is not obstructive. In other words, many times all the planets will become obstructive planets. Moreover, we do not think it is logical to apply the rules of question calculation to Jatak Shastra or horoscope judgment. Now let's come to the main reason for my discussion about obstructive planets. I have told you what I said in the ancient scriptures about a barrier planet or an obstructive planet. Astrology students can tally this discussion of mine in real life. Now the question is how much does this obstructiveness of planet actually help to make the correct prediction during the horoscope judgment. In fact, if the horoscope is judged on the basis of any yoga or combination during the prediction and if that result does not match in future, then that yoga or combination will not be successful for prediction. Jatak Parijat or Sarvatta Chintamani has always been very popular among later astrologers. But there is no unity or harmony of reality with all the advice of any book. That is why it is necessary to evaluate the formulas described in the ancient astrological text in a modern statistical scientific manner. But that is not possible with a single effort. As an alternative, we will try to determine the importance of the influence of the obstructive planet in the horoscope of a few masterpieces of Bengal. Let's see what effect of obstructive planets had on the horoscope of the prominent scholars. First, we will see the horoscope of Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore was born in Pisces Ascendant. Ascendant is a two nature sign or dual sign. So the obstructive place is Virgo. Virgo has no planets. Fourth and seven Lord Mercury is a barrier planet in this place. Mercury is in the second house with Sun and Venus. He was born in the period of Mercury 12 years, 3 months and 7 days 
was the balance of mercury period at birth. Rabindranath spent his childhood and adolescence like a children of rich and aristocratic families. Notable ev events of the, the time were his Upanayan or sacred threat ceremony and travel to Bolpur and the Himalayas with his father, which made a deep and lasting impression of, on his mind. It was at this time in Mercury's Maharasa began his literary work and his first work was printed. Now let's see what obstacles Mercury's subperiods brought in his life since Mercury is the obstructing planets. It can be seen that there was no subperiods was come as barrier in Rabindranath's life. Let's take the last three Mercury subperiods for example. The pu publication of his English Gitanjali in the phase of Moon and the subperiod of Mercury which later led to his receiving the Nobel Prize. Travelling and receiving reception at home and abroad, China, Japan, South Africa, Europe, etc. to raise money for Santiniketan and Vishwabharati, publishing major books of poetry and plays, presiding over the first Indian philosophy conference in Kolkata in the face of Mars and Subtier of Mercury. Literary writings continued in Rao's main period and Mercury's sub period. Travelling and receiving huge reception at home and abroad. Gaining the post of Ramtanu Lahiri professor at Calcutta University. Giving Kamala lectures, which was later published as People's Religion. Another masterpiece of Bengal or Bengali literature is Tara Shankar Bandhapadhyay. Ascendant is Cancer. Told us the 11th house is Badaka place or obstructive place due to Chaur Rashi or movable sign constraint. Mars is in the 11th house. Venus is the 11th lord or the obstructive planets. From 19 years, 2 months, 21 days to 26 years, 2 months, 21 days was the phase of Mars. It was the beginning of his literary life during this time. Let's see what kind of result he got in the sub-periods or antardas of Mars. Literary writing and fame continued to spread in the sub-period of Mars and in the period of Rahu. In the Mahadasa of Jupiter and in Antardasa of Mars, he received Rabindra Award, travelled to China and got Academy Award. He did not enjoy the phase of Venus. So let's see what happened in the sub-periods of Venus. Nomination as a member of the Legislative Council by the Government of West Bengal in the period of Jupiter and sub-period of Venus. And during the Saturn phase and the sub-phase of Venus, the presidency of the Nikhil Banga Literary Conference, the Ganpit Award, the reception of the countrymen at the Mahajati Sadhan on the 70th birthday. In this case also, it is seen that Tarasankar Bandhapadhyay did not have any significant effect of the obstructing planet. There may be some obstacle in his personal life for which the barrier theory alone is not responsible. There are other adverse judgment of planetary placement or combinations and those are responsible for that. But for the reason that he is famous, 
the obstacle planet has not created any obstacle in its career. Sama Prasad Mukherjee is another accomplished son of West Bengal, then Bengal. Born in Taurus, as the ascendant is in the fixed sign, Capricorn the ninth sign from ascendant to be the obstructive place called. There is no planet in the Capricorn. Nine plots, Saturn, retrograded and conjoined with Jupiter in 8th house. During the Saturn phase, from 13 years, 11 months, 18 days to 32 years, 11 months, 18 days, Sanaprasa had a remarkable academic career and gained immense fame as the Vice Chancellor of Calcutta University. In this case also, the obstructing planets did not create any obstacle. In this context, I would like to say one thing. In the case of Taurus Ascendant, Saturn is the most favorable planet or Rajakarak planet being the 9th and 10th lot. I have seen a lot of Taurus Ascendant people in my past uh, last uh, 26 years of pra astrological practice who have Im improved a lot in Saturn phase. In addition, I have made a lot of Told us certain people to hold blue sapphire due to Saturn's weakness and they got good results. According to Pulsar, if the same planet is the quadrant and the time lord, then the planet becomes the planet of Raj Yoga or most favorable. So, in the case of Todas Ascendant, it is a matter of wondering. How that Rajyakara planet can be an obstacle? Now another example, Sri Sri Sitaram Das Omkarnath, known as the cheap and perfect devotee of Vaisnavas. Ascendant pieces, moon and retrograde Saturn in the seventh house. So moon, Saturn and in the seventh house and the seven lord Mercury are the obstructing planets. From the age of 40 years, 8 months, 4 days, Saturn phase was 19 years. Then in Mercury's 17 years period, he became known all over the country for spreading the glory of his devotee's life. There are many such examples. The video, video will be longer if more examples are given here. You will combine these examples with your own experience, especially the students of astrology. However, in reviewing these examples, the conclusion is inevitable that in Jatok Parijat and Sarvatta Chintamani, the constraint or obstructiveness is not proved to be true in the hard rock of reality. It is possible to give many examples from our astrological life ex experience, but it will not be possible for any of you to match those examples. So the examples of some well-known people is given. So I think that the application of, of obstructive planetary theory is not perfect as it can be seen in all cases the evil fruit obtained in the life of the native is not due, due to the obstructive planet as a result of planetary position in the horoscope the evil is determined by the method of astrological judgment in fact the theory of obstructive planet is not rational and contradicts the formulas of parasara which are considered to be self-evident. The 11th place of movable sign is called Vadakastan or obstructive place. But it is universally acknowledged that the planet which is placed in the 11th house is the only auspicious one. 11 lord is very strong malefic due, due to Trishara Rav without obstructiveness. But due to its placement and relationship, the 11 lord can also be auspicious. The ninth house of fixed sign is called the obstructive. 
the ninth lot we all know the auspicious planet due to the lord of trying apart from the many acclaimed and evil house rulers in the parashari hora scriptures other planets especially the auspicious planets are auspicious in the ninth position in the parashari scriptures in the chapter of bingshottari dasha all the planets in the trines are said to be auspicious the seventh house of dual sign nature dual nature sign is called the obstructive place in the seventh house there is a little evil in the holding maraka but seventh is one of the quadrant the planets in the quadrant position is strong and in the parashari hora bingshottari phase judgment of the planet in quadrant is said to be auspicious in addition the planet in seventh aspects ascendance the planets who aspects ascendant is specially auspicious this is the statement of parashara the seven lot is maraka apart from this fault goodness or badness of seven lot should be determined as a lot of quadrant the realization of ast- applied astrology is based on parashari applied formulas of astrology obstructive planets have no value no matter how glorious of antiquity they may be that's all for today please write your comment in the comment box whatever your view is namaskar